Hi, so the app um, is called Endless Alphabet and it's basically a collection of sight words and um, each letter is its own little character and when you click on it, it says the name of that letter. And so like if, you know, if the word were magazine, it would show you the word as magazine. All the letters would bust out and start walking around and then um, you put your, you know, finger on the M, and instead of saying M M M, it goes ma 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 ma, and then when you put it in the right spot, it goes M, and then you know you do the G and it goes ga 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 G, you know, N is na 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 N, you know, and then you know I I I I I I I I I I I I um, and so it really helps to build, and it doesn't, you know, I used to kind of worry because M would never do it in order. Um, she would always kind of haphazardly go through, but her brain was able to make those connections in a way. So eventually she started doing them from the, you know, from the left to the right, which is the way we're supposed to do. What you want to see at her age is that when she picks up a book, she's holding it the way we hold it. She's opening it and turning the pages this way instead of this way. But you know, even if she is turning the pages this way, it's still a start. Um, you know, if you get a new book from the library, you can have her look through it and before you even read it, have her tell you um, what she thinks is happening in the pictures. And even if it's not a book, you can look at a painting and say, what do you think is happening in that painting? And that's building that, you know, that comprehension piece of, oh, you know, the pictures go along with the words and the words have meaning and the pictures have meaning and they're connected. Um, but the endless alphabet, um, that's, you know, right now I'm teaching Eli letters and sounds. And so when we're waiting for Emmy to get done at swim, um, I'll say, you know, find the letter that makes the k -k 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 sound and he'll find, you know, he'll point to the C's and I'll say, which one goes to ta 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 and he can find the T or I can see, say, hey Eli, can you find the ends? And he finds the ends and I'll say, what do they say? And he goes, na 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 and he's two. Um, we have a um, Melissa and Doug alphabet puzzle um, that's really super helpful. Um, too in doing that um, and that's more phonics-y stuff you know some words like zoo she's just gonna pick up and that is awesome um, you know you can in the car you can say hey Ella do you see any words that you know um, and then you and then before you know if she starts to say well no then you can say well I say you know I see some words that I know I see open I see clothes you know signs and in, in stores I see um, stop um, I see yield, I see, you know, and just read billboards, read storefront signs, um, because what she's going to start to recognize first are things like business names and open signs. And, you know, if she's reading a lot of books about the zoo, she's, you know, zoo is a great word because it's really, really recognizable. You know, Z doesn't come up very often. Um, and, and, uh, you know, it's a fun thing, so she's going to remember that. And if she happens to say, hey, that one's zoo, then, um, then, um, we, uh, sorry, I had somebody text me, then maybe find a whole bunch of other books at the library that are all about zoo to encourage her, you know, solidification of that word zoo so she can really own it. Um, and then, you know, you can brag on her a little bit. And you know, when you're with your mom, you can say, hey mom, Ella knows the word zoo, don't you Ella? And then just move on, you know? Um, because I, at least with Emmy, the more I quizzed her, the more she would shut down. But if I just made it a part of normal everyday conversation, then, um, then she'd be great and fine. All right, I'll talk to you later, bye.